Hey pilots, what's up? How you doing? Skip here. Uh, playing with the spider hex right now. I haven't had this thing out for a while. Uh, you see it's got FPV. And uh, let me slow this down. Let me put the hat on my head here. And you guys can see this a little bit better, I hope. Okay, so yeah. Um, I've got the DJI on the uh, Mini 2... Uh, I believe this is a, a 270 or a 280... Uh, spider hex uh, frame of all T motor motors carbon fiber props uh, DJI GPS the whole nine yards here um, running a hard case uh, Venom 3300 3s and uh, I've got the little voltage indicator there that thing beeps guys it lets me know a little bit in advance before the uh, system lets me know that that it's time to land but uh, as you see, it's got very nice uh, lighting, and, and it, uh, the camera is just phenomenal. It's dark, everything else. I mean, it's uh, it's top of the line stuff here. Now, got something else going for it too here um, for lighting. Let me just turn the lights on here, and I've got infrared and ultraviolet up in the front for night flying. And what it does here is it gives a, uh, a much different view in the dark. Now you'll notice, I'm going to put the, the spider hex underneath the table here where it's kind of dim. And uh, the camera does a real great job. Now I've turned the lights off on the thing. Okay, so this is without the lights under the table. All right, it's by itself. And it's kind of dim, very dark under my table. Here's with the lights. Now you notice that blue spot in the middle? The infrared makes everything glow pretty good, but that blue spot in the middle is like a, it's like a searchlight at night. You can see it, it you know it's right in front of you. Here's a good, good example, it's on the box. But you got a searchlight. You notice, yes, I've got the, uh, I've got all the, uh, uh, you know, on-screen display and stuff and shows altitude, velocity, you know. Shows finds that I can find home if I get lost up there. So yeah, pretty neat um, What I'll do is I'll take it out and uh, give it a flight and we'll put it together stay tuned Okay guys uh, outside now and you'll see I've got the uh, camera going on the spider hex here and you see the video display. Anyway, this is your battery voltage. So you always know what your battery voltage is while you're flying. You can take a look at that. Gives you distance from, from home where you're marked in at the height that you are. You'll notice that this changes. As I go up, it gets higher, the numbers. So it gives you altitude, gives you direction. This little, uh, this little diamond in the middle, if you're pointed away from home, will drift. When you're pointed toward home, it'll go back to center. So, without further delay here, uh, it gives you a lot of things. Increased velocity. This tells you how many satellites you're actively tracking. Right now, nine is pretty good. It goes up higher, but you want a minimum, I think, of, uh, of, of two or three. Three minimum to get actually a lock, uh, GPS hold. Okay, so let's give this a shot here. I'll show you what we got going. She's ready to go. I've calibrated her already. And we're going to give this a... Give us a little shot here. My friend has nicknamed this the flying brick only because it's so small and it's got so much on it. Now I put the throttle at about 50% and she should hold her mark. GPS will settle down. Let's turn her this way a little bit so you can see her. And uh, she'll be able to see us. I haven't flown this thing probably in about seven or eight months. This is the first thing I built. And uh, it was only because I saw a friend of mine. Now see, I can fly this totally FPV. 
The battery's telling me, the beeper's telling me that the voltage on the battery might be getting low. That's a good possibility. I haven't charged the batteries. They've been sitting for a while, but good enough for a quick demonstration here. Now she will come down and just land by herself uh, automatically if I hit a switch she'll come home and land. But if she runs po out of power I've got her set to just pretty much land where she's at nice and soft. And that's it guys. There's uh, my homemade scratch built mini spider hex. I saw this on, uh, I saw uh, the blackout uh, spider hexes on YouTube and fell in love so I decided I was going to build my own and make it better. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.